How far around the bend have we gone, that we've gone from gang rape and chortling, <laughs> like his Kuze Hussein, to <laughs> do you drink? A, have you do you partake in a Schlitz on a Tuesday? What she wing yes, day? Your Honor. Rape, rape. <laughs> I think what they're doing with Brett Kavanaugh is. Flat out evil. Yeah. Yes. Let me ask you this. Has it changed your perspective at all? I think we're beyond the idea of fringe or civil disagreement. I think falsely accusing someone of rape with no evidence whatsoever is flat out evil, and yes. they know better. Let me give you some Ethics. context here. Uh, for those who haven't been following this, this week the New York Times dropped another bombshell right. uh, that, of course, caused Democrats to call for Brett Kavanaugh's impeachment. Yesterday, Democratic candidates called for Kavanaugh's impeachment. Shocker. Senator Elizabeth Warren said the nomination was, quote, rammed through the Senate. And former Vice President Joe Biden asked She's whether the FBI was pressured <laughs> to ignore evidence. Whatever. So, we have to get all of that information out there for the House to make a decision on impeachment. Kamala Harris, who serves on the Senate Judiciary uh, Committee, tweeting, he was put on the court through a sham process, no. and his place on the court is an insult to the pursuit of truth and justice. And the new bombshells, by the way, are stories that have been reported by people who can't remember the incident, who weren't necessarily even right. there, not corroborated by the people who were the victims of the incident. So bombshells, uh, pretty much like this. Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. Yeah, my best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend heard from a reporter who found an old classmate who knew this girl who knew this guy who saw someone put Kavanaugh's dick in a drunk girl's hand last night. I guess it's pretty serious. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. All right, so before we move on <laughs> to the exactly new like accusations that. in detail, uh, let me recap some of the previous yes. accusations, lest you forget. It's important uh, to go back. Also, I was looking for a reason to use the word lest. Christine Blasey Ford. Lest you pull a Christine Blasey Ford. There you go. Lest That's a memory Truly trigger. vexes that's, me. That's what we that's call word. in uh, in the literary culture foreshadowing. You know what I'm talking boom, about, uh, audio wave. <laughs> Papa's yeah. prick. Christine Blasey Ford. <laughs> Not quarter black, he didn't know. Okay. Her hey. four witnesses, let's keep, let me, let me, let me go here. Her read. four witnesses all denied knowledge of the party where she claimed to have been assaulted. Ford Oops. herself, she couldn't recall the place or even the year that it occurred. Recently, yeah. a supporter of Ford, the main supporter, is now questioning her story. Right, this comes, Leland Kaser told authors of a new book that she didn't recollect certain facts and that Ford's accusation just didn't make any sense. Mm. And so before mm. we move on to the newest accusations, we want to create a timeline that you understand here in the top four reasons it's bullcrap. I would actually like to apologize uh, for this ill-timed and looking back in poor taste joke. Let me recap this for you. Ford accused Kavanaugh of attempted rape in a letter to Diane Feinstein that Feinstein didn't mention until after the hearings. Feinstein said Tuesday she can't vouch for everything, whether it's true or not. Ford doesn't remember exactly when it happened or where it happened. Her story contradicts the therapist. The attorney's story contradicts Ford's. An attorney that originally said Ford would testify is now, I think, saying that she's not going to testify, was put in retainer on August, at which point she took a lie detector test for an accusation she claims she was never going to make publicly at all. Should be noted, investigators uh, are saying that there is still the noted possibility of Ford being a dirty, lying whore. This is a <laughs> This is the investigators. In, in light of yeah. recent yes. evidence and uh, the corroborating witnesses becoming non-corroborative witnesses. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yes. if non-corroborative, yeah. if that's a term. I don't even know because usually the corroborating witnesses don't just do an about face. In light of recent evidence, I should have clarified, she's potentially an aspiring lying filthy whore. <laughs> yeah, now, good clarification. Kavanaugh's, yeah. according, according to the authorities, not me, Take it up with your local PD. Kavanaugh's <laughs> other accuser, Deborah Ramirez, yeah. uh, initially told Ronan Farrow that she didn't have any, so I don't have, I want to read the quote, any stories about Brett Kavanaugh and sexual misconduct, only mm. to accuse him later. Even after the media outlets contacted 75 classmates, wow. no one was able to confirm the report. Jeez. So. Uh, this recent New York Times article, for people who have been following, claimed seven people corroborated her claim. We'll get back to that. Remember Julie yeah. Swetnick? A lot of people don't remember this. They think of Christine Blasey Ford. Yeah. She was the one who came forward, her lawyer, by the way, Avenatti, that developed afterward, <laughs> in case oh. you forget. At totally time, trustworthy guy. At the time, yeah. Julie Swetnick comes forward and says, Brett Kavanaugh ran a train on me and gang raped me. Remember she said, right. while cocking his head back and laughing. What is yeah. he, Claw from Inspector Gadget? I really gang rape you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I hope I get SCOTUS. What is this? <laughs> Avenatti Terrible. was her lawyer. She accused yeah. him of gang rape. He yes. was questioned about that before the committee. Turns out none of it was true. She just no. happened to see him hand out red solo oh. cups on the latest bombshell in the problems. Okay. That's Problem basically number the same thing. one. Pretty it's much. Basically, yeah. yeah. Red yeah. solo red cup. Red solo, you're a jerk. And gang rape. <laughs> and I don't know. Yeah. Here's the first problem. Yeah. Conflation of these claims, okay? The article that came out from uh, New York Times, it brings out the old claim from Ramirez. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That Kavanaugh stuck his 
penis allegedly in her face, and then it conflates it with a new similar claim that Kavanaugh had his penis out, someone grabbed it and shoved it in the face of a different woman. Hmm. The Times article claims seven people corroborated the claim as I talked. Turns out that's completely bogus. It's not oh. even close. None of them were there. It's all third hand. It comes down to something just Seriously? happened at a party. That's it. There was nothing even more specific. Remember, even after interviewing 75 classmates, the media couldn't find a single witness, not one, to recall you think the there'd Ramirez be one. incident. At least one. You'd think there would be one. And the point is here, this muddies the water when you when you add another almost identical, completely unsubstantiated claim. This yeah. is my job, and I can't keep track of it. Yeah. I go, hold on a second, right? hold on a second. One story came forward where someone, where Brett Kavanaugh put his penis in somebody's face, and then the other one, a guy committed a sexual assault and grabbed Brett Kavanaugh's penis and put it in somebody else's face. First off, this is a very bizarre fetish. It's confusing, yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, would you just put my doniger in this person's face? Is that it? I'm just going to stop right there. <laughs> but when I go home, I'm going to be thinking about That's it. That's right, baby. By the way, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe, of course. We, subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Join yeah. Monk Club. Do it. Do it. Because notifications might not even work anymore. Half the time, they don't work. I don't care. Here's another, pro another problem. <laughs> this is something people don't talk about. The accuser, okay, is a Clinton, and I use this term very, I'm, I'm being careful in choosing my words. Operative, a Clinton <laughs> operative. Max, is it Max Steer or Max Steyer? Do we know? I've only ever read the name. Yeah, I've only read it. Don't hold me Max to it. Steel. It's a stupid name. <laughs> Max Steele. Now, the man he accused Kavanaugh, right? He's described by the New York Times as, I want to read the quote. This is how they described him. A guy, a man who runs a nonprofit organization in Washington. Oh, come on. Well, that seems positively <laughs> oh, benign. Yeah. Wow. No, he's a Clinton lawyer. He was oh. a lawyer for the Clintons. Oh. Specifically, Oops. mind you, that would be bad enough. Like, you'd think conflict yeah. of interest. Right. No, he was a Clinton lawyer with an ax to grind, specifically with Brett Kavanaugh due to their history. <laughs> Kavanaugh worked on Ken Starr's investigation into Bill Clinton, yeah. while Max was still one of Clinton's defense attorneys. Ooh. Problem number three. <laughs> Done with this guy. Uh, Kavanaugh, by the way, th this is something they've been talking about. They said, well, the investigators were made aware. We know that the FBI, the investigation was we a know. sham. We've heard this a lot, right? right? They claim that the FBI was made aware of the investigation. They ignored it. Now, here's oh, the thing. On. I read that at first. I think we all read it. Right. And if it were true, <laughs> would be pretty bad. Now, here's the thing. Mm. No, it never, it <laughs> never <laughs> happened. They didn't no. send That's the, the info to those in charge of the Kavanaugh investigation. Here's what happened. A senator just notified a member of the FBI who was not in charge of the investigation. It'd be like me Seriously? saying my half-Asian lawyer, Bill Ripschman, uh, complained to Susan Wojcicki, and he complained, he complained to someone who offered you mints at the Google yeah. headquarters bathroom right. in <laughs> Chelsea. None of the details matter. Why? Because here's the main problem. The victim denies that the assault actually oh, occurred. She doesn't know what she's saying. She denies having <laughs> any memory of this supposed assault. Right. So that's oh right, gosh. the anti-Kavanaugh Clinton lawyer insists that someone else grabbed Kavanaugh's penis, which again, would be sexual assault, thrust it into a woman's face. The face in question, however, denies that it happened. Hmm. Seems to me, <laughs> follow me here, if someone, if a, if a complete and total stranger thrust their pecker into my face, it, it would probably be most memorable to yeah. the face. Yes. Yeah. You would be among the first people to know. the face that's the victim of the penis thrusting. <laughs> no, hold on, did it make contact? Out, I could be blackout drunk. All of us could be blackout <laughs> drunk last night, right? Not remember anything except it's a little bit fuzzy. And what I would do is work my way backwards from the very memorable event of having a penis shoved in my face. <laughs> it would be the only thing oh. I would remember. Yeah, yeah. So when someone says, hold on, this is an international story where we want to get a guy impeached, did he shove his penis into your face? And he's no, no, didn't no, happen. I don't think Any it memory happened. Of that? I don't no, remember no, that. No, no, no. But certainly sure? there were other people, and they all remember it, and then they're all you know very willing to say that they saw it, and uh, no, right, wait, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. secondary yeah. witnesses, not even the victim, and uh, alleged. Here's problem alleged. number five. The New York Times. Omit, and this is why I think it's evil. They completely omitted this. Uh, the victim, right, who had no memory of it, wasn't included at all in the New York Times article. Seriously? Hmm. Yeah. Oh so they talk God. about it as though, th as though this happened. They had information from this alleged victim who said, I don't remember it, and that was not in the New York Times. Usually they, they just bury these details like 10 paragraphs down, right? Because usually they, they post a lie, then they issue some kind of a correction. Yeah, this yeah. time it was completely omitted. Molly Hemingway has done great work. She's over there at The Federalist. I want to make sure I give her credit. She got a copy of the book uh, from which the article was taken, and she pointed out the glaring omission on Twitter. Yeah. After that, the New York Times added a correction to the article. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Kamala yeah. Harris has already doubled down. And of said, course. This is something that's so... Kamala Harris... She was a prosecutor, correct? 
She was. Okay. So it seems to me she should have a basic <laughs> she grasp. She should understand a yeah. little. A basic grasp Maybe? of the law. My half Asian lawyer, Bill Richmond, has not seen this no, next no, clip. No, no, hold on. You, okay, go, go ahead. <laughs> go, go ahead. He has not seen this next no, clip, no, 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 no. but I want to see what your opinion might be on a prosecutor holding this opinion as Kamala Harris did based on the New York Times article. The fact that something has not been proven, it doesn't mean it didn't occur, right? But, well, well <laughs> right. isn't that kind of a prosecutor's it's, job? Yes. Imagine that. It's like your argument. Who knew? Closing statements. Well, Your Honor, just, just because, because there's no evidence <laughs> doesn't Did mean Did you it see my tweet, happen. though? The judge would say, are you serious? Are you serious? Is it, that, your Honor, can you, pro can you prove me wrong that it didn't not happen? Wait, what? I'm very confused. I don't. I think uh, I, rest my I case. think that he should be put in prison for the rest of his life. This prosecutor, wait, she's hilarious. Wait. And this is why yeah. I think it's evil. Remember when Brett Kavanaugh was being? He was asked by Cory Booker. I think it was Cory Booker. Uh, do you ever drink beer on weekdays, Brett Kavanaugh? You can't even <laughs> find me a religion. What does that mean? You can't uh, find me a religion yes. that says you can't drink on weekdays. Now you can find religions where they don't drink at all, but there, there's no religion They're that wrong. allows you to drink that says not on weekdays. I'm sitting here going, hold on a second. How far around the bend have we got that we've gone from? Gang rape and chortling, <laughs> like his Kuzey Hussein. <laughs> to do you drink? A, have you do you partake in a Schlitz on a Tuesday? What's cheap wing yes, day? Rape, rape. Exactly. Yeah. This is the damage is already done. This yeah. is important. Just like Mattress Girl and UVA. In case you forgot, those are fake too. False yeah. rape accusations make it halfway around the world before the truth even has a moment to be heard. And as it stands right now, Kavanaugh's only crime. I will stand right here and say this until there's some kind of emerging evidence. He has done. Nothing wrong. Not there's nope. a middle ground. Not let's have let's have some kind of common shared. No, no, he's done zero wrong. His only crime is being accused of rape by actual DNC candidates or their lawyers with no evidence. None. Nothing else. That's it. Something else that's really telling. Right now, go check Huffington Post. Go check Salon. Go check Daily Costa. Go check Media Matters. They, when the New York Times article ran, they were running this, look, it's going to be a roadblock for Republicans. Brett Kavanaugh, new allegations have come out. Since the correction, go right now. It's not anywhere. Cricket, if nope. there is someone who is on the Supreme Court who is a gang rapist or even shoved his in some random passersby face. They would have it front page. They know it's yeah. not true. And it has been used as the bedrock for their argument for impeachment. And here's something, none of the Democrats demanding Kavanaugh's impeachment, none of them backtracked either, since it was revealed that the victim's claims didn't take place. None of them have backtracked because they don't have to. The New York Times yeah. doesn't want them to. The New York Times wants this embarrassment to go away. So does the DNC. And so they scream rape at the top of their lungs and they move on down the trail to the next lie. It's the exact same strategy they use with Donald Trump, right? The media doesn't want to cover that Russiagate was a lie. The DNC doesn't want to address that it was a lie. And so the media and DNC decide that they are going to move on to the next lie to try and undermine the legitimacy of a sitting president or a Supreme Court justice. And this is why I hate it so much when people say, you know, actually, this SJW, social justice warrior progressive left, is just a fringe portion of the liberal <laughs> right. movement. Really? Really? Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Beto O'Rourke, Bernie Sanders, New York Times, NBC, these are all people in institutions who have vocally advocated against constitutional, the constitutional right of due process or the idea of innocent until proven guilty yeah. as long as the target is a white male they disagree mm -hmm. with. So I ask you this, okay, to all the moderate liberals out there, I don't even know what that means anymore. It's an oxymoron like a jumbo shrimp or virgin Madonna. All of you <laughs> moderate liberals out there, when the fringe is in control of the media and in control of who will have the nomination for your party on a national level, when do you accept that, hey, maybe they're not fringe as it relates to the Democratic Party? You are. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You may be wondering why after this outlandish video, this is such a straight end card. That's because we've recently learned that end cards actually determine the YouTube algorithm as it relates to controversy on a sliding scale. So we have uh, a yellow and it escalates all the way to the word f